Well, welcome back with a porch vlog. Um, so, got Halloween decor up. Um, some of it. Um, but... Yeah. I know it's a bit early for the Halloween de decor, but so is the migratory birds. Yeah, we had some Canadian geese fly over last night. Um like migration patterns and that is way too early they normally don't tr arrive here till halloween so we're gonna have some shit this winter we're gonna have some shit this winter and that apparently triggered us to put up hollering decor early but hopefully it causes a chain reaction to for others to do that to do the same so <sighs> and there's an actual spider web over there. I think the owner of the spider web died because it normally takes it down every night. Which is sad, but it's nature. Probably laid eggs and died somewhere. Um Which, well there's gonna be thousands of little spiders soon, I guess, or in the spring. I don't know how this works. Um But after a porch vlog will be updates on the well, tropical systems uh, with Renee, Paulette, Sally, and soon to be Teddy as a new tropical depression just formed in the Atlantic. Um, tropical Depression 12 off the coast of Japan is dead, um, so don't expect any more updates on that. And, well, severe weather updates as they come in with potential for tornadoes in Florida with uh, Sally. And potential for some severe weather in Indiana, Missouri, and Illinois. Maybe a little bit of Kinetic, uh, Kentucky with another system. And, well, updates on earthquakes as they come in. Also, you guys did want to uh, hold, do something with the pups, um, with the series. So, we're going to be working on that in the future. It likely will be a weekly series, uh, calling them Pitch Shepherdors for now, because I don't know what else to call them. And I already know I'm going to get a lot of backlash for allowing these pups to exist. I already have on Reddit when I brought it up. Because, oh my god, you shouldn't let them breed or anything. Like, I wasn't trying to. Wasn't aware that the female was in heat. And couldn't get them fixed because the vet was closed. Because of COVID. And... Me and my folks do not believe in abor uh, aborting animals, so it happened. We're going to have the pups, and a story, um, because the pups have a right to live, have homes, have a life, and we're not going to deny them that. And besides, um, we do have plans for pup the pups, um, but also... Heads up, they are kind of up there in age. They're, they were born in April. Like late April, early May. Um, so they're like four months. So they haven't hit puberty yet. And they likely won't for another year. Um, for at least another six months. So there's that. And they're pretty big, especially with the breed combo that is, that they are. Um, there's three of them, started with seven, four of them got adopted. Um, one of the three was adopted out, but apparently the overprotectiveness of being a very loyal dog, considering it, they're a mix of three of the most loyal dog breeds out there on the planet. Yeah, the overprotectiveness kicked in, and they did not, they were not a fan of that, or was the um, separation anxiety situation of the litter mate syndrome, but, yeah. Anyways, that does seem to be it right now. Stay safe. See you in the next video. Bye.